This feels like the meal of a crazy person. He knows a good meal when he's not drinking the blood of nine-year-olds. What do you think of serial killers? <laughs> you mean people who just kill a box of cinnamon toast crunch or? I'm scared of serial killers, that's my thoughts. <laughs> Today we're gonna be trying and rating the last meals of some infamous serial killers and murderers from around the world. Ooh, okay. Here's our first serial killer. Oh, he looks like a president. For some reason, he looks like a dentist. All white old men look <laughs> like presidents. Peter Curtin was a German serial killer known as the Vampire of Dusseldorf. Screw the serial killer? That is a dope name. <laughs> he was convicted in 1931 of nine counts of murder and seven counts of attempted murder. Jeez! Including the murder of a nine-year-old girl. He was also deemed the king of sexual perverts and gained his notoriety for drinking the blood of his victims. Yeah, that's not a crown you want. He was sentenced to death by beheading. Sounds a little dark, but like I kind of wish they still cut people's heads off today. I feel like it's gonna be like a like a rare steak. I'm so nervous. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what is? Oh, yum! Wait, how old are you? You're underage. No wine for you. Is it alcohol? <laughs> Tater tots? Fried fish? For his last meal, he requested Wiener Schnitzel, white wine, and fried potatoes. Mm. Wiener Schnitzel? What? What is that? This is fun. I've never had Wiener Schnitzel. 90 years ago, someone had this meal. Uh, this is. Whoa. Mmm. That's delicious. That's really good. That is good. <laughs> He's got immaculate taste. So he claimed to have committed his first murder at the age of nine when he caused two school friends to drown. Age of nine? Both deaths were ruled as an accident by authorities. Hmm, an accident. And you tell me this while I'm eating? <laughs> this doesn't feel right, but this is good. Shortly before his head was placed on the guillotine, he turned to a psychiatrist and asked the question, tell me. After my head is chopped off, will I still be able to hear, at least for a moment, the sound of my own blood gushing from the stump of my neck? That would be the pleasure to end all pleasures. What a freak. <laughs> I don't know. The thought of murdering someone is real crazy to me. This wine is good, though. He knows a good meal when he's not drinking the blood of nine-year-olds. I would give this, like, a seven. Yeah, nothing too crazy, but still delicious. I'd definitely eat this whole thing. Seven. A solid seven. Like a seven, like I mean, it's a it's a good meal. Vampire Dusseldorf, not a cool dude, but you have really good taste in food. Oh, he is coy. <laughs> like this guy, I feel like is a psychotic doctor. Look, he's like smiling, he looks so scary. Oba Chandler was convicted for the murder of Joan Rogers and her two daughters who he'd thrown into the water with concrete blocks around their necks. Interestingly, this was the first case that was solved using billboards by law enforcement to catch the suspect. Oh, wow! He notably did not have a single visitor while incarcerated for 17 years. Ayo. See what happens when you become serial killers, guys? Nobody will visit you in prison. Whoa! What? There's two kinds of sandwich in here. Peanut butter. Ew, what? His last meal request was two salami sandwiches on white bread with mustard and peanut butter and jelly with a cup of coffee and iced tea. That's what he wanted? Okay, so he didn't eat them at the same time. I mean, I'm gonna eat them at the same time. Peanut butter and jelly, I do not like it. This is gross, I hate PB&J too. You can do better than this. I mean, it's, I think it's gonna be good, don't get me wrong. It's... <laughs> Ew. Not bad. <laughs> We're just gonna whole hog it, why not? <laughs> I'm not excited about this. Ugh. That's not bad. <laughs> I get a little bit of the saltiness from the salami and the mustard, but like the PB and J really cuts through that. I hate peanut butter. Like I don't like how thick it is. To be honest, I've never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This feels like the meal of a crazy person. Oh, that's weirdly pleasant, but like also it feels like the sandwich has been hyped up for so long. Just the sandwich part, not for the last meal. 8 out of 10 on a, on a peanut butter jelly. <laughs> That's like a 5. 2 out of 10 for sure. I'd give it like a 5. This is gross. You can have anything you want and this is what he chose. A 4. I don't think that was a good meal. You know what I would choose? I would choose like all you can eat breadsticks at Olive Garden so that I would just like always eat, like forever eat them. 
so that I would never have to die. That's a lot of people escorting one dude. Is he holding the Bible? <laughs> a little late to find salvation, I'll be honest. This is Leo Ashigari, accused and convicted of raping his 10-year-old stepdaughter. Ugh. Scum. He was the first Filipino to receive the death penalty after its reinstatement in the Philippines in 1993. His death sparked a national debate, eventually resulting in the suspension of the death penalty in 2006. What is his last meal? Oh, really? Uh, I was gonna say something with rice. Oh, ew, no. I can't do eyeballs, like, cause it just makes it real. Like, I'm like, okay, that was a living thing. He requested sardines and dried fish for his last meal, which he shared with his wife and three relatives. Wait, 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 wait. I'm surprised he had relatives that wanted to see him. People make sardines sound way worse than they are. Like, I, I love this stuff, so we're good here. This is literally what my grandma would feed me as a kid. <laughs> Tastes like what I grew up with. <laughs> Ugh, it's so bland. Well, that is salty. Yeah, that's why you need rice. It's good. Can't lie. My mind can't process the fact that his wife was there to eat this with him. I would give this a six because I eat it sometimes. I'd give it like a two. The rice wasn't bad. It was a nice texture. I'm gonna rate this a three. I would rate this worse than the peanut butter jelly, you know, like a two. Not bad, not horrible, but not amazing. Ooh, I like her sunglasses. Those are cute. Those are fresh. It creeps me out to look at these people. It gives, it gives me the chills. So this is Miss Judy Wayne No No. She was a American serial killer who was executed for the murder of her husband, her son, and the attempted murder of her ex-boyfriend. Wow. She was later also found responsible for the murder of another ex-boyfriend in Colorado, but they had already sentenced her to death in the state of Florida. Oh my gosh. Well, she murdered several of her ex-lovers with arsenic and paraformaldehyde that she disguised as vitamin pills. High key, I mean, if you're gonna kill somebody, smart way to do it. I hear arsenic, that's a pretty rough way to go. Healthy. All these greens. I mean, she did like her vitamins. Hey, <laughs> sorry. For her last meal, she requested steamed broccoli, asparagus, strawberries, and hot tea. Steamed? I know, you gotta add some like Parmesan. You gotta roast it. I'm not a tea person. <laughs> oh, that's good tea. There's nothing special. This is weird. She's like a bunny. These strawberries look really good though. Oh my god. That is a good strawberry. This is an amazing strawberry. This sucks. I'm eating it. <laughs> Eat your fruits, kids. Just don't murder anybody. Yeah, I would definitely rank this a two. And this is a three out of 10. This is so disappointing. None of this stuff is bad. It's just why. I would rate this a three. These strawberries are really good. I'd give it like a five, four. It's your last meal. Die unhealthy. She's probably just crazy, but I just want to know the whole backstory. Some of these people are crazy. The only one that had a right idea was the vampire. He looks like a serial killer. He looks scary as well. Oh my God, man's look like a straight pedophile. Convicted of raping and murdering an 11 year old girl in his apartment complex, uh, jo John Albert Taylor was turned in by his own sister for the crime. Good. He was executed by firing squad at his own request. That is crazy. I didn't know that was a thing. The girl's mother was rightfully furious, not only at John Albert Taylor, but also at her neighbors who apparently did nothing even though they heard her daughter screaming. That is so sickening. Ew, people. I don't know what somebody like this would want to eat. It's bad. Huh. Pizza and Tom's. <laughs> Why do you need these? You're going to die in like an hour. Oh, did he have GERD or something? Because I have GERD. <laughs> I just exposed to the world that I have GERD. Why Why do you need Tums before you get firing squad? <laughs> oh, there's a cigarette too, that's so funny. For his last meal, he requested a pizza with everything, antacids to quell his stomach's flip-flops and a cigarette. Hey, he was worried about his stomach's flip-flops. This looks delicious. I, that pizza looks grody. This looks like some good pizza though. And I was right, my God! Amazing. Ew, I don't want that. I don't want the cigarette either. I will take a Tom. Do these taste good? I've never 
I don't think I've ever had one before. Because I have acid reflux. Mmm. <laughs> Not the worst. That's a good slice. I tell you what. Amazing taste. The cigarette though takes us all the way down. <laughs> You're a terrible person, but pizza's pizza. The pizza alone, like an eight. I would give this an eight. The pizza's really good. The forethought of the necessary Tums would have given this a nine. This is a good five. But the cigarettes gives it a two. The antacids just did it for me. Five. It's less creative, but more Homie. So we tallied up the scores and the vampire of Dusseldorf at the very least has the best taste in food. I think that was the most flavorful thing I've had. Wiener schnitzel, I've never had it. I had it today and it's really, really good. I'm not gonna say he had good intentions or good morals. He had good food. Thank you guys so much for watching. Did you enjoy this murderous last meal challenge? Let us know and let us know what other challenges you wanna see on People vs. Food. As always, please make sure to subscribe and tell all your friends. Bye guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Ow. <laughs> that hurt.